In life, there's always two options. No matter how big the situation is or how small the situation is, you can either cry and complain like I did last night, or you can learn from your mistakes and uh, continue to progress and move forward. And that goes for any situation. No matter if it's small, like our paint job issue, or if it's big. You already know what we're gonna do today, or at least get started off with today. Before we get started on today's video, we have a nice little drop coming up. It's actually live right now, first link down below. And instead of me showing you the products, <laughs> Jared, are you camera shy? How almost do I look right now? <laughs> Hold on, let's see. You ain't gotta, come on, come on. No, I gotta look. You ain't gotta look in the mirror to go on YouTube, bro. You gotta show, show the boys what we got today. All right, instead of 50 different shirts, we have just two, two tank tops. You guys love these tank tops last time. Decided to run them again. Unfortunately, they're very hard to get a hold of, so we don't have a ton of them. Simple design, got the V on the front, vertical Vossen on the back, and also we printed these in house. On our on handy dandy press. Big ass thing over yeah, there. These are the first ones ever. I'm super proud of these. Same designs on the front of the drip tee. These are our everyday mesh shorts. You seem a little nervous on camera, bro. <laughs> What's going on here? So we got two kinds. We got light gray, we got half wrap. These are four and a half inch, yeah. four and a half inch inseam. So these are if you got big legs, if you work out. Or you're just a hot boy in general. Yeah. Well, let's do a little side by side. These are the long version. This is a six and a half inch inseam. This is what I wear on the daily. And this is like leg day at the gym, then I'll put the short ones on. So this is how the longer version fit. Yeah. This is the short version. Uh, so yeah, those are the mesh shorts. We got half wrap, obviously uh, an ode to the half wrap Evo 10. Got the light gray. Both versions have the zippered pocket. It ain't no regular zipper either. Highest quality zipper possible. It's a hit and it's hidden, so yeah. you can't really see it unless you pull it to the side. Yeah, these are sick. Also, the pockets are pretty deep too. I know someone or a couple people asked if the pockets will actually like hold the phone because some like, doesn't really hold a big phone. So if you got like an iPhone 11, 12, 14, whatever, <laughs> whatever they're making now, it'll fit in these. We also have four hats dropping. I don't wear hats, so you won't catch me rocking one of these. Because you like, ain't bald like me. No, because I got a watermelon head, bro. This thing's massive. Anyway, we got two curved bill and two snapbacks, so I'll go one by one. So the curve bill, both of these are flex fit. So these are leather patch hats. Got that guy, premium garage goods. And then this says live with passion. And then it has it in Japanese as well on the top and bottom there. So these are six, super high quality. Two flat bill snapbacks, same thing. Same patches, just to clarify, cause I think people are kind of confused. The flat bills are only in snapback. We don't have these in flex fit and the curve bill are only in flex fit. We do not have them in snapback. And then I don't even gotta sell this. This sells itself. Hopefully it's not upside down. Nope. <laughs> okay, good. Super high quality embroidered jet tag, same as our other ones. You're pretty good, you're hired. I'm Here's a quick side by side in the sun. That color is so sick, I ain't gonna lie. That color does look better than this color. I just wish the whole car was that color. That'd be so freaking nuts. Couple things to note, even though it doesn't really matter. The reason why the whole color is the same color and it does not look blended is because it's not blended, even though I did only spray paint on the panel itself to about halfway. Being that our booth has pretty much no ventilation, with all the base coat in the air, it's just landing back on the panel. So it's pretty much painting the whole panel by itself. That's the only explanation. Another thing to note, once again, not like it really matters, a lot of the stuff that we see here in this hood is not dirt. It's actually little holes in the paint, solvent pop or some sort of pinholing. And I'm guessing the reason for that is because as I was spraying clear, it was getting dark out. It was getting, you know, not super warm in the booth. Um, I should have waited till the next morning to spray the clear. Not that, not that it would have mattered because we have to redo it anyway, but I'm guessing I was just stacking too much clear on too fast. It was probably like 55, 60 degrees in the booth. So not that it matters, like I said, but that's the reason for some of these some of this pinholing, there's still a lot of dirt in the paint, but a lot of that is also solvent pop. The good we can take away from this paint job, I know, I now know how to do a two-tone paint job like we did on this bumper, it turned out perfect. I now know that, hmm, I guess that's about the only thing I can take away from this is that uh, I know how to do a two-tone. Another thing to note, not that it even matters, even if this was properly blended out in a real, like actual downdraft paint booth, this color still, in my opinion, is not close enough to blend. It's much too brown and it's much too dark for this car. So yeah, lessons learned. So right now I'm just taking all the parts, putting them out in the sun to kind of bake and let this stuff like fully cure. I am gonna start breaking this clear open and that will help it cure faster so we can respray these faster. But one thing I just noticed, check this out. 
I'm not sure if you guys have noticed this, but I think this rear, well, I know this rear bumper has been resprayed. Interestingly enough, all the parts that we sprayed is a much closer match to the rear bumper versus the rest of the car. You guys see that little color difference there? The bumper's a little bit more brown, just like these parts that we sprayed. I'm kind of thinking and I'm kind of feeling when I respray all these parts, I may just respray the bumper too, or maybe even spray the whole car. Probably not the whole car because that is so much work, but I feel like we're already doing half the car. So it'd probably be about double the work to spray the whole entire thing. But then at that point, at that point, the car is pretty much going to be a show car and it's not supposed to be a show car, but it would be a show car because it'd be perfect. I don't know if I want to go down that rabbit hole with this car because it's supposed to be Bobby's daily driver. I guess a good thing is our carbon pieces that we sprayed turned out absolutely perfect. Here's the, the base plates for the APR wing. They're perfect. They don't need any sort of polish in your West Sandy. They're literally perfect. And the gurney flap as well turned out mint. I mean, the color's cool, but it don't match. Where did you end the blend? Right above the wheelhouse? Yeah, so I ended the blend right about here. Yeah. Did you do the whole hood? So I actually marked everything with tape just so I know everything is blended the same amount. Remember this, if you're doing fenders, mm -hmm. do the whole hood. And then when you're doing the edge of the hood, whatever just blasts on the fender, yeah, that's your blend. You don't even have to blend it. On a flat panel like a hood, it'll look modelly blended it. Uh -huh. So just paint it all. Just spray the whole thing. Yeah, color. there's no I sense mean, of blending it. I, yeah, I didn't even think about that because there's nothing. There's no color here. Yeah, so. yep, yeah. Just paint it all. That makes a lot of sense. Staying away from. Yeah. And it here and. I didn't intentionally spray any color anywhere around here. I mm -hmm. saw here. You can tell that there's still so much base in the booth that it just landed everywhere. It's a little too gold or copper, right? Yeah, it's like more brown copper than, which the color's nice. I love the color. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't cool. matter if it doesn't match. It's got enough flop that disappears from here. Yeah. Mm, I see where it ended from here now. Yeah, because it looks like you got about this much left. Yeah. And it probably is from sticking. Yeah. On it. The only thing I could see what's screwed up about it, if you would have known that. You could have wiped the fenders off and redone the front end parts mm -hmm. and used the fenders as a blend. Do you think that, I don't even think that's a close enough color to blend though. Like, no, I don't either. Cause now you need to do the doors. If I do the doors, I'm able to spray the whole car. <laughs> yeah, there, there's no way out of it. You don't think that's, you can ever butt match that and it'd be, it look mm -mm. close enough? No. You can't. Yeah, it's frustrating, dude. So yes. much work into it, and well, I feel like there's. I mean, I, I don't think I did anything wrong. It's just I don't think I sprayed it wrong. Or... Like I said, I would have done is the hood and let whatever blow down on it. Uh huh. And then you got the bumper. Yeah. So where the bumper meets. So you're spraying it. You're saying to spray it all together. Yep. Okay. I would. My blend would have been to here. Yeah. So you, you just paint this and kind of toss a blend in here mm -hmm. and all of this matches that you just fake the eye even if it doesn't match i wouldn't paint it complete i don't think the car warrants it well it's pretty good shape it's it? in real good shape but then the funny part is the rear bumper has obviously been sprayed because mm -hmm. the rear bumper has that same it's yep. almost matches the paint i just it, sprayed it does if i have to blend the doors the front doors and then if I, I don't know if Bobby cares to respray the bumper or not, the rear bumper or not. That's almost like 90% of the car. Cause I've never sprayed a car com like together. When I did the STI, the only complete I've ever done is all in pieces. Mm -hmm. what, is it hard to spray a car all together? And like, I guess I'd, I don't understand the masking of jams and shit. Do you just use that foam tape or kind of roll it up on itself? Yeah, if you're not sealing it, we do the fold tape. Mm -hmm. And then you could rub it out. Yeah, I don't know the best option. It sucks because the car's per in like in perfect shape. Yeah. And it sucked to respray it, but. You got the rear door chips. Yeah. Because, yeah, if I have to already spray everything I just did, plus the doors, like all that's left is the quarter and rear door. I'm kind of sick of buying that DVC. That shit's expensive. It'll... Do it at our shop then. Very expensive. If you want to. And then and start getting only mix up what you need. Mm -hmm. And Rob could tune it. What I would do 
I paint everything again. Do you want to do the whole car? It's <laughs> if it was me, I'd sand everything that you did here. Yeah. Take the doors apart and blend the doors. But if you want to do the rest, work. It's a lot of work, but I know it's, it's going to look better. There, There's no way out. There's no magic secret because the blend screwed up on the, the fenders. Yeah. So you got to do the doors. Yeah. Then if you're doing half the car, do you, you want to do... Two more doors, two more quarters, and a rear bumper. Hello. What's up? Hi, hello. So, your dad came by and looked at this fucking shitty paint job. Yeah. And you have, there's two options to fix it. Okay. Option one, we're going to have to reshoot everything I sprayed plus blend onto the door. Yeah. So we'd be painting 60% of the car. And your, yeah. your rear bumper still is not going to match. Because the, uh -huh. the paint I sprayed last night matches your rear bumper perfectly. Oh, okay. Which is interesting. Either we do that or you already know the other option. Just to redo it and have my dad mix the paint? No. Your dad, they're, we're mixing, we're doing this whole project at your dad shop either way. So option one is we spray probably in total 80% of your car. Or option two is we respray your whole car. So do you want a perfect Evo 10 or a not perfect Evo 10? Obviously, I want a perfect Evo 10, but um, what option are you wanting? Do you care that your rear bumper doesn't match? I mean, I care, but not that much. If you told me that I had to leave my car the way it is right now, I would still be appreciative. Like, I'm not going to be pissed about anything. Okay, so you want me to leave it fucked up? <laughs> no. So do you want a perfect Evo 10 or a not perfect Evo 10? A perfect Evo 10. So we need to sand the whole entire car down to where it's flat like that. You can see right here, still got a little bit deeper to go. That's actually just orange peel in the paint job that we just did. The rest of the car is gonna be very, very easy to do being that it's in perfect condition. And it really, really sucks that we just polished the whole car. Spent two days polishing it just to sand the whole entire thing down. On another note. Hi Remy. Hi, old one. Hmm, this it's car looks another... slow. It's pretty slow. You have oil leak? Yeah. From where? I don't know. Well, we'll put her on the lift and uh -huh. you can you can figure it out. It was the dipstick. Now it's not the dipstick. Well, at least it's not leaking yet from the dipstick. I mean, give me the quick rundown on this. You got all the fast cars, dude. Yeah, I know. You got the fast Honda, the fast Subi. Yeah. Sheesh. What's up? So I'm having a little oil leak. Yeah. I just got this car together. I'm in a time crunch. I head down to Gatlinburg, and at two days, I have an oil leak now. Can't see where it is. Devin is letting me use his lift. I got you. And he's to get under there. it and see where I have my oil leak coming from. Yes, sir. And this is getting, what, 1,000 minimum? I want 1,200. 1,200, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you can tell, guys, she's she's quite built. <laughs> 70, what's the turbo? It's a 67.85 42R. That thing's huge. Yeah. It's a, Damn. It's a big bitch. So this thing is coming with us to Slammed Enough Gatlinburg. It's going to be the Vossen booth car. And unfortunately, the motor has to come back out. It appears that there's a leak on the back of the motor. There's two uh, plates back there, and it looks like one's leaking, and it's leaking pretty bad. They just put this motor in, and it's already got to come back out. Kind of sucks but it is what it is. While Bo and Remy are working on the STI, Bobby and I are gonna continue sanding down her whole freaking car.
we made some really good progress on Bob's car. Front fender is pretty much ready to go, doors and quarter panel, and then it got dark. I do need to work on that pillar, but instead, I'm gonna go help Remy on his STI, because guess what, Remy? We're not leaving the shop till this thing is running. We almost got the motor out, so another, what, 15 minutes she'll be out? Could be the remain seal leaking too. You ready for this? Uh, Where the fuck? There's a drip right here. There's an oil right here. And it's, you that can see it's been spraying. Huh. I've been doing a pretty terrible job of filming the STI, but we got the motor out. And the leak was actually coming from the rear main seal. You can see a little bit of wetness around it. And a good way to tell is, look at the flywheel, the whole back of the flywheel. You can see it's been spraying oil. So thankfully I had a new rear main here at the shop. We got the new seal on, and this thing is ready to go back in. Just gotta get the clutch on, flywheel on, motor can go back in the car. This thing has to be done tonight. So it's gonna be a late one. Unfortunately, we ran out of time to get this thing back on the road last night. So I came to the shop early this morning. I'm gonna help Remy out real quick and just get this whole thing buttoned up. So when he comes here, it should be hopefully ready for the first start. There was like, I think four different oil leaks on the car that we had to fix. Oil pump seal, the rear main seal, the dipstick tube was leaking, and one of the cam sensors was leaking. Um, hopefully that's it. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this thing completely buttoned up. The hard part's done. There's not much left to do. Just a couple little pieces here. And this thing should be ready for a startup, which is exciting. This car is, is absolutely wild. Another day in the shop, another cop incident outside the shop. When I got here this morning, there was a couple people like sleeping in the car outside. And it just so happens that I also got here and, and there was a gas can with a tube shoved into one of my cars outside. They were trying to siphon the gas outside. So I'm guessing it's the people that are sleeping in the car right outside the car that I was getting siphoned. Cops came by and they saw that dude sleeping. Kind of interesting. Seems like every week there's something, something crazy going on out here. But this car is pretty much ready to go. Just gotta put the up pipe on with the wastegate, charge pipe, and she should be good for a first start. All right, we just, <clears throat> all right, so I just gotta throw in some water. I'm not gonna run antifreeze because it did seem like there was a few coolant leaks before. So I wanna get those situated and then top it off on some oil and hopefully we should be good for the first start. Everything looks complete, good to go. This isn't my build, so I'm like double checking, going through, making sure everything is good to go. It'd be uh, pretty shitty to start this thing up and have a issue. Wow, wait to the party. Get your ass in here. This bitch is ready to start, let's go. That yeah, is. You got the cranker. I'm starting it right now. You said nine, bitch, it's 9.30. <laughs> I can't sleep, I just come and work. I was like, no way, He's, you got the waist gate lines on now? I gotta rebuild that. What the fuck, what time did you get here? I'm so fucking confused. <laughs> Does it always sound like that?
It sounded a little rattly. Fuck you, bitch. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I was like, no way. <laughs> All right, hit it officially. Oh god. All right, I'll stop. Yeah. Well, Remy, she's good to go pretty much. Yes, she is. Thanks to Devin. Took a while to start. Yeah, this is doesn't like starting. <laughs> Good. Oh, fuck. What? But it's on. Sick. So we got the whole entire car done and the clutch, it's a brand new XD twin in the car. And when you push in the clutch when the car is running and try to shift, it feels solid. And as soon as you shut the car off, it'll shift fine. So I think the motor trans has got to come back out. I think that's what they're gonna work on right now. But I'm gonna wrap up this video right here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's kind of all over the place with Remy's STI build and with sanding down Bobby's car for paint. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's gonna be sick. The final outcome of Bobby's car is gonna be pretty wild. So I'm excited for that. It is going to be a little bit uh, tedious. Sanding an entire car down does take a lot of work, but we'll uh, we'll get her done. Peace out.